Yes, it was hard. Yes, it was embarrassing. Yes, it was painful. But you have to get through it, darling, if you want to get to the other side. television radio relationship expert author and entrepreneur known as wise courtship all over social media because of my book with a three-step system that will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest wise courtship is not just a book it's wisdom, it's guidance. It's what I call the wise courtship philosophy. So anytime you come on this broadcast, anytime you see me on television, hear me on the radio, watch me on stage, or even get my book, you just subscribe to the wise courtship philosophy. And all the philosophy is, is individuals who are committed to having whole relationships in their romances, their families, their friendships, and even in their businesses. So welcome, welcome, welcome each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you guys um, for watching me on so many different platforms. And I thank you guys so much for sharing and uh, leaving um, comments and um, sending your relationship questions. And that's what we're getting ready to do. We're getting ready to answer a question. Why am I still single? Why am I still single? And um. If you want to send your relationship questions, before I get into it, if you want to send your relationship questions, send it to info at wisecourtship.com. That's info at wisecourtship.com. And I will be glad to answer your questions. So the question that was sent in was very simple. Why am I still single? And I want to answer that in three points, just three points today. Um, and you may want to take some notes. You may want to watch this over and over again. And you're definitely going to want to share with all of your friends that are single. And I want to say there's nothing wrong with being single, guys. OK, <laughs> I was single a while before I got married. OK, and I believe that you ought to enjoy um, whatever station you find yourself in in your life, okay? If you are single, enjoy it. If you are a mother, enjoy it. If you are married, enjoy it. Whatever, if you get a career person, um, enjoy it. Whatever is brought your way, that is a blessing, enjoy it. And being single is a blessing. There's a lot of great things uh, that can be done when you're single and you get up and go the way you want. You, whatever you place in your house stays that way, okay? <laughs> um, you can explore your life. You can dedicate yourself um, to something that's important to you. Um, and so there's so many things that you can do while you're single. It's not a curse. It is a blessing and you are to enjoy it to the fullest. I believe you ought to get to know yourself well during this season, because the, the more you get to know yourself, the better, the better your chances are in picking the right person for you. And that's what this whole wise courtship movement is about. It's not about, oh, you're going to have this perfect marriage. It's not about um, just answering relationship questions for the sake of it. But this movement is different than other relationship movements. This is what you do before. Somebody say before. This is what you do before a relationship and what you do before a marriage. And that's what the wise courtship philosophy is all about because we want to have whole relationships, okay? So that we can love without limits. We don't need to be hooked up with some knuckleheads, okay? I want to thank Spotify uh, for allowing me as an influencer to be able to have my podcast where you can see me as well as hear me. I know many of you are listening to me on various podcast platforms and I want to thank you and if you're watching me or if you're listening to me on Spotify you now have the option of watching me but just in case darling you you say listen I like the podcast platform that I'm on but I sure would like to see you sometime then go to my YouTube channel which is bit dot l y forward slash Tony Tube, both T's are capitalized and you can watch some of this and some of that. 
okay, I got a couple of things going. I got quite a few things, but my YouTube channel is not just dedicated to wise courtship, although you're going to get a plethora, okay, of relationship advice, but it's also about my businesses, my career as an actress, and just other things that I like to do. And by the way, okay, I want you to see I'm rocking my make it happen t-shirt. Look at that. Make it happen. Okay. And that is courtesy of the Hustle Hub. So you definitely want to, um, I think I'll put a link in the description so you can get your shirt too. Okay. Because the theme for me in 2022, and I believe for you too, is to make it happen. Make those dreams happen. Make those wonderful relationships uh, happen healing yourself, all of those things that you want to do in your life. This is the year to make it happen. Okay. All right. So let's get into the content. Why am I still single? I want to give you three points, dear one, three points on today. And the first thing I want to say, you are still single because one timing, timing, OK, it depends on what age you are. I mean, you know, if you are a teenager and you're like, oh, why am I still single? I want to be married. Maybe the time's not right. Maybe your age is not right. Maybe the stage that you're in right now is not right. But I hear someone saying, well, I'm 55. I'm 65. I'm mature. But what's going on? It's not always the age. It may be the stage, okay? And so you, it just, the timing may not be right. Maybe you dedicated your whole life to something and, and you just really didn't have the time. And we're gonna go into that a little bit more. But now is the time for you, okay? So timing is so important. It could be your age, the type, how old are you? Are you too young? Or maybe as you got older, you maybe have gotten a, a little more, rigid, you know, kind of stuck in your ways. And that may have eliminated some opportunities for you. It could just check out what's going on in the stage of your life um, and see if it may have anything to do with your age, where you are, not the number per se. Okay. Not the number. I don't want you to get oh, yes, about my age. No, don't, don't get in your feelings. You cannot be part of the wise culture philosophy, honey. If you get offended easy, you know, that's not what I'm saying. I'm here for you to win. It may be what's going on in the stage of your life. A lot of times it is a sign with age, maybe possibly you will focus on raising those kids. Okay, in that age, in that stage, all right? And now you are open to marrying someone, but it, it or, or maybe the fact that you are in the middle of trying to raise them and maybe they need you right now. And you know, I believe God helps us out. You know, sometimes we just don't get it, but he's helping us out. No, darling, not right now. Okay, I'm gonna let you raise Junior because Junior's having some issues and we, you need to be there for him and you need to help develop him. And when that finished, I'll send somebody, okay? And you'll be more open to see who you want in your life. The second thing with timing is it could be your career. Some people are still single because of their career because they focus so wholeheartedly on what they're doing. And that's not a down thing. OK, that's a good thing. Right. But it's for some people, they can't really juggle both or their career is very demanding or um, they're living their passion. Maybe they travel a lot. Maybe they, you know, maybe they are the CEO of whatever. And it just takes a lot of their time and they just don't have the freedom, you know, to uh, to get with someone else. But now you're saying, I really want someone in my life. And you're going to have to now compromise some of that time. That's just the way it goes, right? Because when you bring someone new into your life, they're going to need time. Yeah, that's why I don't have a, a puppy or I don't have a, a cat or something because they, they require time. I don't think cats take as much time as dogs, but whatever the case is, animals need time. And, and, and that's not a down thing. We all need to have love and care and attention. And you don't want to get into this relationship thing if you're not, if you don't have the time to do it. So you may be still single because of your career or your passion or your ministry or your business, whatever it is, may have taken up a lot of time. You also may be single because of the environment, the environment. Maybe it was just not the right time. Possibly the people you are around may have circumvented you to have relationships. I have a girlfriend now who um, I'm a daughter of a pastor. She's a daughter of a pastor. 
And her father, my father died when I was 19. And her father, very much alive to this day, but was very demanding. And I believe, and she believes that she remained single because of the rigid, okay, lifestyle that um, made it so she never got around to, because, you know, you, you learn from your parents, you respect your parents, they are there to help you, but there's a time when you grow up. Okay, and that's not always in your age, but when you mature and grow up, there are some things that you chip away. There's some things you keep, and there's some things you throw away. Okay, because every generation is stepping into a new realm, and there's some, of course, the, the great things your parents teach you, you better keep. But there's some little nuances here and there of some things that's just not going to work. Like if you're teaching me how to dial a rotary phone. That's not going to work, okay, because <laughs> rotary phones are gone. If they come back, maybe, okay, but they're gone. But the essence is, is that I learned how to make a telephone call. Mm -hmm. I learned how to speak on the telephone. I know how to answer the phone appropriately. And so um, your environment may be stopping you. Um, where you live, where you work, if you work in an area where, you know, it's nothing but women and there are some places that you can work where there's a lot of women, you just don't see a, any men and same thing with men. There's plenty of places men can work where you hardly ever see a woman. Okay. Not only work, you go, you go to work and then you go to, um, you know, you hang with your people that are like you, whatever gender that is, you know, the guys hang with the guys and women hang with the women. And then it's very limited. Maybe you go to church or something and you go there and then you just, you get up and you leave when it's over. And so your environment, you have to look at what's around you. Possibly you're living in an area where people don't think like you. They don't move like you. Maybe they're not aspirational. Okay. And you're like, mm, this is not good pickings. One advice my mother gave me that I tell everyone in the wise culture philosophy, she said, um, when I said, wow, I can't really find anybody decent to date. She said, change your circles. Oh man, this is something good right here. If that's blessing you, let me know in the comments, call me, let me know that that blessed you change your circles. Okay. What's going on in your environment? that possibly may be hindering you from getting to meet people and, and, and you're still in the single state um, and you want more, you want more out of it. Um, you want to connect with someone on a deeper level, possibly the pickings around you, the people that you could pick from around you is low. You may have to come up and go to areas where people think more like you uh, are living the way you like to live or or the way that you would like to live you want you want to go in those areas okay and, and and commune with people like that okay so that is timing that's number one that why you may be still single number two is terror terror okay what do you mean terror <laughs> You know, when we watch scary movies, we hear that music, we know that we're about to go into a space of terror, where we're going to be frightened, where we're going to be afraid, where we're going to be scared. And possibly you may be single because somebody scared you. Mm -hmm. They scared of you because possibly you have a bad attitude. Now, I know I, I'm not speaking to anybody in a wise courtship, so you may need to share this with the one you know got a bad attitude, but it's a possibility that your attitude is bad, or maybe your attitude is up and down, or maybe people feel like they're walking on eggshells when you're around, or maybe you're kind of loopy doopy, you know what I'm saying? Like you're one way this, or you know, some people say wishy-washy, but so you're one way this, this time and one way another time, people ain't got time for that. Now, y'all know when you listen to Wise Courtship, you're going to hear it like a T.I. is, okay? People don't have time for that, especially now during the pandemic. Why am I going to take on another burden, another problem, another situation, okay? When we dealing with this pandemic, my money is dwindling. I don't know if I'm going to have this job. Um, I'm, I, I'm afraid I'm going to get COVID-19. I've had loved ones pass. I really don't need to add you to the mix if you're going to make my, my, um, my, my, my life heavy. If you're going to be giving me grief. 
And I don't think anyone who's listening to me right now, hey, millennial babies, good to see you. Good to see millennials. Man, all of y'all, the 35 to 45, you guys are almost neck and neck. But I'm telling you, everyone, I mean, people from teenagers all the way up to our seniors are listening to Wise Courtship all over the world. I want to thank you guys so much for that. Now I digress. Nobody. <laughs> Say nobody wants to deal with anybody who's going to give them grief, who's going to be a terror in their lives, who's have who has a bad attitude. All of you who are even the person who got the bad attitude don't want to be with somebody with a bad attitude. Y'all know I'm talking good today. The other part of terror is sometimes you bring baggage. And we all have a certain amount of baggage and it's okay. Like, you know, when we go on a trip, it's okay if you got one bag and then somebody see you with another bag, you know, it's okay. But you ever go on a trip with those people who got like 10 bags and we only going away for two days? Oh, maybe that's you. But you know what I'm saying? We, we, it's like, okay, we only going away for two days. And it's the same thing in the relationship. We could take a bag or two. Nobody's perfect. But you coming in here with 10 bags, 20 bags, issues, daddy issues. Uh, um, um, I don't like men issues and women are dogs and all kind of issues, money issues, credit issues. All, every issue known to man, you got all these issues and you ain't worked through none of them that may be why you're still single. You've got to work through your issues. Now, if you're young, if you're young and you're listening to me, you may not have that many, uh, that much baggage. Let's pray and hope, okay? Because the younger you are, the less baggage you should have. And the older you are, the less baggage you should have. Because somewhere around that, that 30 year mark, you should have been or should be digging through that baggage, honey, and throwing that stuff out. All them problems and situations, you need to go see a counselor, a pastor, a friend, get on the altar, give it all to Jesus, leave it all to the Lord. But somehow you need to get through that baggage. Baggage means problems, uh, circumstances, things that still hurt in your heart. Here it is 20 years later, and you're still struggling with the situation that happened in your family. What happened with your ex-boyfriend? He left you with a baby. And now you too afraid to even get out there and meet people. All because some teenage guy who wanted to get his thrill on left you with a baby. Yes, it was hard. Yes, it was embarrassing. Yes, it was painful. But you have to get through it, darling, if you want to get to the other side. So maybe I'm single because... I have a bad attitude. I carry baggage. And also I may have unrealistic expectations. I hear women say it all the time. I want him to have a PhD and I want him to be a doctor and you don't have your GED. Okay. Whenever it gets dull like that, that's a Salah moment. That means we need to stop and think about that thing. I'm not saying that you, you know, people who, somebody with a GED is not going to get anybody that's a doctor. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that sometimes we want people to be more than what we even are. Oh, that's deep right there. That's good right there. That blessed me. <laughs> that bless me. Sometimes we want people to be more than what we even are. What we want to focus on is helping us to be the best that we can be. And when we are the best that we can be, then we can see with clear eyes what it is that we really want and who it is that we should really connect with. Okay. And so we don't want to have this long list. I want. Yes, should we have standards? Standards are different than lists. Okay. Standards are different than lists. And let me just tell you too, that some people will have a list and they will, they will have a list and they'll throw their standards overboard for the list. It's more important to have the standards, baby, than the list. It's more important to feed and become the best you that you could possibly be than to have the list. All right. So we may be single because one timing two terror. And the last reason we may be single because of three technique. Somebody say technique. What do I mean by technique? You may not be prepared. 
You just may not be prepared. One of the ways to be prepared is to get to know yourself. And I say this all the time, you know, and sometimes people are like, but no, I want to know what I got to do to get somebody. Get to know yourself. Well, you don't understand. I want, I want a man and I want him to be six foot tall. I want him to be, to be chocolate brown, milk chocolate, not really dark chocolate, but milk. And I want him to walk a certain way. Oh, he's got to make six figures. Oh, I got to have a woman. Her shape's got to be like a Coca-Cola bottle. She's got to have long hair. She got to be light skinned to dead. I'm talking all the black terms, y'all, but I know we got Caucasian people that listen to me, Asian people, okay? Y'all know we. every culture has their idea of what they think beauty, and a lot of times it's connected to Western culture beauty, all right? And listen, you can like what you like. I'm not, I'm not going against all that, okay? Like what you like, but what you like is not the main thing. The technique sometimes, your technique is not there because you're not prepared. You haven't explored yourself. Why is that important? Because when you explore yourself, you know clearly who you are. You know, it takes a long time to know who you are. Okay. I think the people over 50 like, amen. It take a long time to know who you are. You get a good sense. You know, I'm not saying before 50, you don't have any idea. You get a better sense as you get older. Okay. But some people are older and they don't have a clue. Some people are older and they don't have a clue. You don't even know what kind of ice cream you like because you've been eating whatever he eat because you're trying to please him, but you don't even know what kind you like. You know them people that say, ooh, I don't eat that, but they ain't never tried it. You seen them people like, ooh, I don't eat that. You ain't even try it, okay? <laughs> you don't even know that you you like scuba diving because you ain't try it. You don't even know. Sometimes, but what did, let, me, let, me just, let me just say this. Cause I'm getting real excited. Let me just say this. The things that are so important, we overlook the fact that we love family, the fact that we are faith based, that God is important to us. The fact that we, we, we cherish and honor loyalty. These are things that are important to us, but you won't know it unless you sit quiet with yourself. You get to know yourself, take your own self out on a date so that you will know what you like. Do some different things. And it's not always about material things. Some of the things I just named have nothing to do with materialism. Oh, I got to know myself. I took myself on the spa, honey. Yes, I will date myself. I will go get my pedicure and my manicure. I'm getting to know myself. But no, what do you really know about yourself? What do you, what books have you read? What places have you visited? What's inside of you? What gifts do you have to offer the world? Oh man, I could go on this on and on and on. The other thing with technique is we're not even using one. We're not even using a technique. You got to have a technique. Somebody say technique. You got to know how you're going to get from point A to point B. If you're going to, if you're going to, um, if you're going to bake a cake, you got to have a recipe, whether it's written down step by step or whether it's right here. You know how you're going to get from point A to point B, how I'm going to make the batter and how I'm going to get the batter into the pan, how I'm going to get that pan heated up and how it's going to turn into a cake, how I'm going to frost it, how I'm going to even get it out the pan, how I'm going to frost it, how I'm going to slice it, how I'm going to serve it. You got to have a plan. You got to have a technique. You said, what? I got to have a technique in the, in the realm of love. Well, honey, here's the last point. This is why you come to wise courtship because the wise courtship philosophy is a three-step system. You can get the book at www.wisecourtship.com. You can go to Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, any place books are sold, ask for wise courtship by Tony Henderson Mayers, and they can get it. Cause you know why it's in the world cat system. It's all around the world. You can get this book. And so you want to get this information because that three-step system is going to help you choose the right person for you, not the perfect person because you're not perfect, all right, but the perfect person 
for you. It's going to help you choose better so that you won't have these surprises, these things that pop up, okay? And you say, what does this have to do with me being single? You may not have that technique. And if you don't have that technique and you're still single, great, wonderful, because you have an opportunity to use it before you choose and maybe you, you may win and you may not. But if you lose, boy, what a big loss. And I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to win. Well, I got to go. But this is, this is Tony, and you can visit me on the web at www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere as Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And remember, say it with me. I help you detect a lover worth living with. Bye. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy? Then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. 